Okay, so I have a rag here, and to be honest with you, it's, it's really almost dry, which is exactly what I want. I don't want it too damp because I don't want to get the, uh, the joint compound uh, moist. But I, I think it's got just enough dampness to it that I can wax some of this powder off. Because I am, I am going to want to, you know, kind of feather it into the board just to create a, a nice smooth transition. Uh, so I have to bring the, the shop back in here. Okay, that's turning out pretty good. You probably can't tell, but that's already like, other than just the tape coming through, that's already really smooth. Let me go ahead and apply some more. Now I've got two small putty knives here, and uh, they're an inch and a half wide. And if you can get something wider. <laughs> I recommend it. It's just with all the remodeling we've done in the house we're in now, I've, I've misplaced the, my wider putty knives. But uh, you can still use a thin one like this. You just got to think when you're applying it. You got to think. I'm going to need to sand this. What's going to be the what's the easiest way for me to sand this? So you know you want it to go on nice and. Nice and smooth, you know, smooth it out. Don't be afraid to put the putty on there either. If you put too much on there, you can get it off with the knife. It's no big deal. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's, it's easier to have too much and then have to take a little while than it is to not put enough on and then finding you're having an extra need to add an extra application because you didn't put enough on. At least that's my way of thinking about it. Like I said, I think I you know I bought this stuff at Home Depot, this DAP wallboard joint compound. I think it was like six or seven bucks for this tub. So the thing I like about the joint, there is a slight difference between the joint compound and actual spackle. This is really made for uh, for drywall seams. Uh, it doesn't. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more uh, watery, I guess you could say. It's not so. Uh, it doesn't dry as quickly, so it gives you a little bit more time. It doesn't dry as fast, so it gives you a little bit more time to work with it. And it seems to be a little bit thinner, too. You know, again, I'm not looking for perfection here. But I can already tell right here. It's probably going to need a little bit another application. Just because I can still kind of see the drywall tape coming through. But, you know, it's not rocket science. If you mess it up, big deal. Just scrape it off and start over again. And I'll try to get a little bit more up here though, cover up a little bit more of the tape. And uh, I'm hoping shooting the videos this way is going to help out a little bit more. Like I said, that's a uh, South Paul. Just try to smooth everything out, nice and smooth. And I am going to need another, another application here. Really, the only the only thing you need to probably watch out for is even though 
even though you can get it smooth, you can still get kind of a wavy effect to it where it's thicker in certain spots and other. And even though you can't really tell head on when you're looking, you know, down the backdrop, you know, from uh, from a different perspective and perpendicular to it, uh, you can see kind of the waviness, and that'll that's a key indicator that hey, there's a there's a scene right there, you know. So you want to try to you want to try to head that off at the pass. <laughs> One thing I've found with my unsteady hands is that it seems like the more I work with it, the, uh, the worse it gets. So it's just really knowing when to stop. I think that'll do it for that. I'm not going to record me doing the other uh, scene just simply because I think that gives you an idea of how you know how I'm sanding, how I'm applying the, uh, the joint compound. So maybe that'll help you out. So let me go ahead and finish up these seams. Uh, one of the things I did want to show you was, let me turn the camera over here. So you can kind of see the uh, where the screw heads are, are at, where I, uh, I'm not the best video guy here. You can kind of see that there. Uh, yeah, so it's just the same thing. You know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my uh, sanding block and my, my 150 grit. Now, as I do start to get more of a finished scene, you know, I'm probably gonna bump up the the number of grit probably go with like a 220 or something like that but for right now uh, just for more of a rough sanding purpose I'm using the 150 just kind of doesn't take much oh yeah although it looks like it's raised probably in the camera at least it looks that way to me right now. It's not, it's, it's smooth. I don't even know if I'm going to need to add another, another coat of the joint compound on that. I think that's going to turn out just fine. But one thing I'm going to do when I go to paint, I'll probably take, uh, when I pick out my sky blue color, uh, you know, when you paint these, you want, the, you want it to be darker a darker shade of blue up at the top of your backdrop. If, if you go out and look at the sky, look down at the horizon, it's uh, it's a lot more light, lighter than it is if you look, you know, directly up overhead. So probably when I get my uh, my uh, color picked out for the backdrop, my sky blue color, uh, I'll probably buy some white as well, and I'll probably dilute the the blue a little bit. I don't know. I haven't figured out yet how much to do that. I'll let you guys know at least what I picked. I'm thinking like maybe a two, a two to one ratio, maybe two parts blue, one part white, uh, something like that. We'll see how that looks. And uh, but once you know, I'm going to roll it on with a roller. But you know, uh, get my my blue on, leave the the bottom part undone, and roll the lighter color blue on, and go back with the with a brush or something, just kind of feather and blend all that together. So uh, it, it, it makes it look more like what the sky actually looks like. So uh, let me get all these uh, uh, seams finished. And uh, when I get back, uh, hopefully uh, it'll be time to shoot the video for painting the backdrop.